So when you think of NASA, you probably think of mighty rockets, rovers, astronauts. But what you might not realize is that, is that NASA is home to the largest group of Earth scientists in the world. With more than 25 satellites in orbit, NASA tracks critical changes all over the globe from air quality to extreme weather patterns. So NASA expert Dr. Emil Charrington joining us live this morning with more on what NASA is learning about our planet. Good morning to you, doctor. Good to have you with us. Uh, good morning to you, Bill. Glad so, to be here. Yeah, good to have you. So um, can you share some of the work that NASA is doing here on Earth? Sure. So, so, so as you uh, correctly pointed out, uh, NASA has a, an entire division that's uh, dedicated to studying uh, our Earth as a system. And so, again, just this general idea that, you know, we're, we're studying these different uh, processes that are, you know, uh, happening on Earth and also how, you know, different things that we do uh, impact, uh, you know, the water cycle, uh, et cetera. And uh, in addition to that, um, you know, providing, providing uh, data to uh, decision makers that, that, you know, that come that are derived from uh, our different NASA satellite missions. And so, we, and, you know, and, in a nutshell. And you know, we've seen some extraordinary weather, extreme snowfall in California, for example. And how are these bizarre weather patterns informing our thinking about climate change? Certainly, um, I guess uh, first off, just to, 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 to highlight that again, uh, based on the decades of research uh, that NASA has been doing, um, you know, one of the things that you know we're seeing not only that the the climate is changing, but uh, we're using you know uh, our data and our models to to understand you know how and why it is changing, and you know understanding kind of kind of where uh, things are going to be going into the future. And then maybe uh, one caveat is to say that you know when we uh, see these uh, individual uh, weather events. Um, climate scientists uh, like to note that we can't necessarily attribute uh, an individual uh, weather event to climate change, but just the general idea that with climate change, we're going to be seeing uh, greater extremes uh, over time. So decade to decade, uh, you know, these things which used to be extremes are now going to become the uh, new normal. Around here in Washington, yeah, speaking of the new normal, uh, wildfires have just gotten worse and worse in the summertime. Is, is that what we can expect now? And, and what, what does your data indicate in terms of wildfires? Sure. Uh, so again, just generally, you know, I guess Washington as well as the uh, the Western U.S. Uh, just this general idea that with a, a warming planet, um, it you know really creates uh, conditions uh, for you know basically going to have uh, drier vegetation in in certain areas that are that are becoming uh, drier, and that drier vegetation then becomes fuel for uh, for phenomena like wildfires. However. You know, we're not only seeing those type of extremes. You know, as you pointed out before, uh, other things like the you know heavy snowfall or or uh, you know things which you know maybe aren't so uh, normal for for the season. Those types of things. Just just the general idea that uh, the things that used to be normal in the past, um, you know, aren't necessarily going to continue being uh, normal into the future. Dr. Emil Charrington with NASA. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity. Hope you have a great day and uh, happy Earth Day. Thank you. Happy Earth Day to you.